what's going on everybody hope everyone is having a great rest of their day so far before we get started in this video head on over to stickersbyab.com these guys do some of the best custom designed miami hurricanes football stickers out there use the discount code scoop all caps and get 15 percent off all your orders all right guys let's get into it andrew ivins was on his through the smoke podcast and he stated Coach Banda is expected to accept the defensive coordinator position at Utah State, and it is expected that he will be taking some people on the current staff at Miami with him. Now, they may not be full-time coaches. They may be coaches such as quality control analysts. One name to look out for, Demarcus Van Dyke. Maybe named cornerbacks coach at Utah State. He may take Demarcus Van Dyke with him. Coach Packy, he's our linebackers coach and special teams coach. Maybe he'll take Coach Packy and give him a more of a promotional role, such as co-defensive coordinator. Those are just a couple candidates, so we will find out more in the next coming days. <clears throat> but the expectation is Coach Banda will take the defensive coordinator position at Utah State. Let's move over to our defensive line coach, Coach Stroud. In the past, he's had health concerns, this year has taken a big toll on him. You know, obviously COVID-19 as a coach being around practice, he missed a couple games. Miami may move him back to his original role per se, chief of staff. I know Ed Reed currently has that title, but they may move him away from defensive line coach, move him to another position, maybe not chief of staff, obviously, if Ed Reed is still there. And they may bring in another coach to possibly coach the defensive line. One name Andrew Ivins did state, Charlie Patridge. He's currently the, the defensive line coach at Pittsburgh. He's also the associate head coach to coach Pat Narduzzi. He was previously the head coach at FAU. Obviously, if you're the head coach at Florida Atlantic, you know about the South Florida area. You have to recruit in South Florida. Um, so obviously, he is known uh, to be a great talent evaluator. He's, had a, he's going to have a few defensive linemen down at Pittsburgh uh, get drafted in the NFL this upcoming season. Great overall resume as well. That's one name to look out for. Another name, potentially, Brian Williams, defensive line coach currently at Maryland. He's originally an alumna, uh, went to Carroll City Senior High School, has strong ties to the South Florida area. He was part of the recruitment of Ruben Hippolyte, local recruit last season. I believe he was a linebacker, four-star recruit, committed to Maryland, but he is their guy for South Florida recruiting. Just a couple names to look out for. I know a lot of people were screaming Kevin Patrick. Something regarding his contract is keeping him away from Miami. I think that goes back uh, to his NC State days. Maybe there's a clause in there where he cannot coach in the same conference. I don't know regarding that matter, but his contract is what's holding him back uh, from possibly targeting a school such as Miami to go back and coach. All right, let's move back to Coach Banda real quick. If Coach Banda leaves and the safeties uh, position coach is open, one name to look out for is Nick Monroe. He's currently the safeties coach at Syracuse. Once again, has strong ties in the South Florida area. He's been to every single high school in South Florida. Every high school coach knows who he is. If you follow um, Dino Babers as a head coach, he likes to recruit in South Florida, in North Miami specifically. Another name to look out for, if the safeties co uh, position coach does open up, Corey Bell, defensive backs coach at UCF. He comes from the Randy Shannon coaching tree. That is his predecessor. That's someone who he has followed uh, throughout Randy Shannon's career. Obviously has strong ties to the Miami-Dade County area as well in South Florida. Defensive backs coach at UCF. In-state guy. Now, regarding Mike Rump, which has been a very popular name, as of right now, according to Andrew Ivins, he does not know if he is safe or not. It is up in the air moving forward. He has not gotten any word regarding Mike Rump moving forward. Personally, if I had to make my educated guess, I don't think the staff moves forward with Mike Rump. 
be very surprised if he does um, stay on staff. But that's just my educated guess. But it'll be interesting to see what happens with Mike Rump moving forward. Last but not least, Blake Baker, defensive coordinator, past two games, has given up a total of 99 points overseeing the defense. According to Andrew Ivins, he, as of right now, most likely expects Coach Baker to be retained on this staff, and he can potentially see Manny Diaz talking to the press, stating he's going to be more involved with the defense, perhaps maybe calling plays full-time, overseeing the defense, you know, basically just PR stuff to make people happy, more secure, Maybe it's a complete bluff. We'll find out more, but I'll tell you what. As more days go by, I think it's less likely we will get rid of Blake Baker. Ultimately, I think he's going to stay on staff, unfortunately. And this is a situation where Manny Diaz, I don't think he can fire his buddy, similar to Al Golden, Mark D'Onofrio. I mean, that's one example. Mark Richt, John Richt. I put something out on Twitter. It's a quote. Pride comes before the fall. Manny Diaz can drop his pride, bring in a new defensive coordinator, new defensive scheme that challenges the philosophy that Manny Diaz believes in on the defensive side of the football and isn't a yes man to Manny Diaz. Manny Diaz can be very successful at Miami. But if not, Manny Diaz's pride gets in the way, he will fall at the University of Miami. Hope everyone has a great rest of their night and always all about the you.